I am Gladiator. Winter's my season. This is my season. Give me your fear. Give me your limitations. And I'll give you results. Today at the Rabbit's Den, it's not Russell Crowe, but we are going back to the Roman Empire era with this mythic legion, Deluxe Gladiator, Legion Builder. Fight on. Welcome back everyone to the Rabbit's Den. I am your host Marco, aka Rabbit. And today I bring to you, I believe this is the fourth figure of this figure review series from the Mythic Legion's Deluxe Legion Builders. And we have here a Deluxe Gladiator. Now just to recap, as I mentioned this in the past reviews, normally Legion Builders are usually in a lower price point and has less paint details. Now these ones are considered Deluxe Legion Builders due to the fact that it has new parts or a little, a little bit more paint detail than your normal Legion Builders. So that's the main difference between them. Now with that said, let's get into this review. First, a quick look at the packaging. We see the standard Mythic Legion box here for single figures. Right in the back, we have this beautiful art by Nate Barch. Uh, it looks like, you know, hell is opening. Right in the front, we have Mythic Legion's logo. On the side, we have a profile picture of the Deluxe Gladiator. On the back, again, beautiful art by the Four Horsemen artist, Nate Barch. It pretty much depicts some of the Legion builders that comes in this wave. And there's profile pics of all those Legion builders back over here. Little bio about Mythic Legion. Right on the other side, we do have a faction symbol. I believe this particular one is the army of Lydicius. I think that's how it's pronounced. And right on the bottom, we have legal stuff, barcode. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the basic packaging. Let's get on the figure. Now the Roman Empire had seven different type of gladiators. And this particular one closely resembles what are called the Murmilos gladiators which I'm really fascinated by because when I think of gladiators usually it's the mormillos is what I usually picture. Now the term mormillo is derived from the Latin word murmo which is a type of saltwater fish in the Mediterranean and each of the gladiator type gladiator type has, has a distinctive look and this one definitely fits the iconic look of a Mormilo gladiator. Now starting with the helmet, or what they're called the casis, which is the typical helmet for Mormilo gladiators, it's meant to look like a fish and usually has this brim on the bottom and ideally it has a brim on top also acting like a visor but this particular one doesn't have it. Now the crest on top um, you normally see them in a sharper angle instead of this rounded part and usually designed with horse bristles right on top. Now ideally for the faceplate you see just like a full grill on it that opens like dual doors. But this one is even more protected as it only has sockets for the eyes. And you usually see this type with grills on the eyes as well for more protection for their face and their eyes itself. The color of the helmet is also closely accurate as it's made out of bronze and sometimes polished to give it more of a golden shine. So this is pretty. The paint job for it is pretty neat. We have the harness here which is not typical of a Murmilo gladiator. But I guess it's there for added accessory. Now I love the way they painted the body here. They added the shadowing and it highlights the muscles even further. Now having this armor on the arm, it is typical of a Mormilo gladiator. It's called a manica and it's usually on the dominant hand where they hold their weapons. 
and is usually made out of fabric or leather or in this case metal which is more of a mythic legion style armor on the other arm usually it's bare but again due to mythic legion aesthetics we do have a short gauntlet in here just to protect and have something on this other arm so really having this armor or manica on the arm it adds further to the Murmilo aesthetics. Now going down on the waist here, we see the typical Mythic Legion waist armor, and we see this leather type loin cover. Ideally, it is more common to find a thicker leather belt, or what is called the Baltius, to protect the waist, and the loin cover is just basic cloth fabric, or called the Subligaculum. I think that's how it's pronounced. Sublic Gaculum. Down on the legs, staying with the Murmilo look, they usually have shin guards called the Ocreas, but normally only found on the opposite side of the Manica. So in this case, it should be only on the right leg. But this one has both shin guards, which is sticking to the true Mythic Legion look, and reuse of parts. So we see this metal armor in here for both shin protection. And lastly, we see there's bare feet. I think this is my first Mythic Legion. Correction, my first Mythic Legion that's human that has bare feet. And these are nicely sculpted. I love the way they look. Although it might be on the tad oversized, but it works and from a typical Murmilo standpoint, it usually has some sort of protection or leather on top of it, obviously to protect their feet. Now what I'm not sure is if the Murmilos did fight barefooted or they wore some sandals. So in general, I'm really digging this figure, close enough to resemble a true Murmilo gladiator with a touch of mythic legion. Now let's look at articulation. Now, as far as articulation, most of you fans probably know what the standard Mythic Legion articulation is. But for our new fans out there, we do have articulation in the neck. And this is just on a ball joint. So let me show you really quick. You can just pop it off really easy. You see the ball joint hole in the center and just put it back. So pretty much it has full left, right, and a rotation. Uh, I can't really look up due to the molding of the helmet or the scalp of the helmet. Look down that much, not far. Arms, it could do your standard T pose. You can pretty much move forward, back 360. Elbows, it has a single joint. Rotation on the elbows. Rotation on the gauntlet and a rotation on the wrist. Now the wrist on the left hand does have a horizontal hinge, but on the other side, it's limited by the gauntlet, but you can see it has a vertical hinge on it. Going down the waist, it does. it is on a ball joint, so you can pretty much Move side to side, front, it could bend that far, back, it could bend that far, and pretty much twist 360 if you wanted to. Legs, it could do full split, not really hindered by the armor on the side here. It has a thigh cut, it could move forward that far since there's nothing hindering it it could move way back also on the knee single joint twist on the knee 360 on the ankles we have a up and down hinge that could go that far up that far again twist and he has it has ample rocker 
So that's pretty much for articulation. Close them up here. Now let's look at the accessories that he came with. First, he does come with a spear. Not your typical Murilo weapon, but it's nice to have as a weapon, additional weapon for this gladiator. Next, one of the biggest appeals of Mythic Legions is its modular design. So you can pop and swap any parts. So it's nice to have additional replacement feet, armored feet, in replacement of the bare feet. And you can pretty much just heat up the joints, pop out the feet, pop this back in, and it gives you a different look for your gladiator. So you have two extra feet. Next, he does come with a single pauldron with a skull in the center, which is pretty cool. Unpainted, just a single silver color, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of customizer would have a field day customizing this and painting it and make it look amazing. Now it does go on his manica side, which is his armored arm. Right on the back, he has the peg holes for two pauldrons if you have them, but this one only comes with one. And there's also a hole for the uh, wing adapter that some figures come with. But you just peg it in the back. And now he has a pauldron on his shoulder. Not your typical Mormillo armor, but definitely Mythic, Mythic Legion armor style. So that's cool. Next, he does come with a shield. Now, this is a circular shield. And most Mormillos use more of a rectangular shield. So, this is not a typical shield for a Mormillo um, gladiator. But, a shield nevertheless. It does come with the handle. I just have it separate because to avoid this part breaking. So, fair warning. Just to avoid this breaking that off. So let's put it on his non-armored arm. There you go. And lastly, he does come with... A short sword which this one is typical of a Murmillo weapon I guess easier to wield during battle a single color looks like it's a bluish gunmetal color on it but again it can be painted and let's look put that on his other arm so there you go that is all the accessories he came with. Now for some size comparisons. Let's start off with some of his fellow Legion Builders. We have a Skeleton Legion Builder. And a Dark Templar Legion Builder. So pretty much all the same height. Considering they're the same wave. Next we have some G.I. Joe Classified. Outback and a Python Patrol exclusive bat. A bit smaller than Mythic Legions, but it could work. Next, we have a NECA Hornhead Predator, way, way bigger than him. So that's a size comparison. Up next, some McFarlane Fortnites. If I can get him to stand. There you go. One a little bit taller, one a little bit smaller. But that's that. Some McFarlane DC figures. Nightwing. 
and Thomas Wayne Batman. There you go. A tad bit taller than Mythic Legion, but it could work. Lastly, a Mezco 112 Craig. Tad bit shorter than Mythic Legion. So, that's it for size comparisons. There you have it folks, our look at the Mythic Legion, Deluxe Gladiator Legion Builder. All in all, I love this figure very much. The whole gladiator theme, I dig. Can you dig it? Especially this Murmilo style gladiator. I know Four Horsemen probably has other plans to make other gladiator looks. I know we already have the Mercurian gladiator and I love the look of that one as well. But how about you guys? Do you love this Murmilo type gladiator? Or would you like to see other types of gladiators? And what's your favorite? Let me know in the comments section below. Lastly, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a thing or two in regards of this type of gladiator. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button as it would definitely help the channel grow. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified of any future reviews in this channel. In behalf of this amazing Murmilo Gladiator, this is Rabbit, and I'll see you next time on the Rabbit's Den. Peace.